with Cologne Attic back with another fragrance review. Today I'm going to be doing a review of Gucci Pour Homme 2. So taking a closer look at the bottle for Gucci Pour Homme 2, as you can see you have a uh, really solid glass, I mean super heavy um, bottle, but overall really nice. Um, just glass all the way across the across the uh, bottom with the Gucci Pour Homme 2. Not sure if you can see that on the front there. Got a it's kind of a textured thing on the bottom here, and a super heavy kind of metally cap with the uh, plastic on the inside. Got a decent sprayer with that uh, blue juice on the inside, and that was just a, a closer look at the bottle for Gucci Pour Homme 2. Getting into Cologne itself. It was released in 2007. The top notes are bergamot and violet leaves. The middle notes are pimento, black tea, and cinnamon. And the uh, bottom notes are tobacco, tobacco leaves, musk, myrrh, and olive wood. Personally, for me, what I get when I spray this cologne on myself, initially I get that those violet leaves um, quickly followed up by that black tea smell. The black tea, I mean, is to me that prominent note, the majority of uh, this cologne. You get that violet leaf followed instantly by that black tea, and uh, as you start to get into the dry down, you start to pick up some, some sweetness, some from that cinnamon, um, start to pick up a little spiciness, and you can also smell those uh, tobacco leaves. So, starts off very tea followed by a sweetness tobacco -y. the tobacco is more of a background scent but it definitely starts to get a little darker and sweeter as the cologne starts to dry down but personally for me the note that stands out from beginning to end kind of playing in the front the whole time is that tea note I mean even if you're not a fan of tea I believe this is probably one of the best smelling tea based colognes that I've ever smelled. The uh, the combination of all the, of, of the sweetness, the spiciness, and that tea note just blends so well. Um, it's definitely a big compliment getter. Every time I've worn it, I've, almost every time that I've worn it, I've gotten compliments. I mean, my wife loves it, my friends loves it. I mean, I haven't found anyone that I've shown it to that hasn't said they liked it. The negative thing about this cologne to me, which is unfortunate, is the performance. To me, on my skin, I get about two hours of projection, and then after that I get maybe about another two to three hours of skin scent, and then I can almost not smell it on my skin, which is really unfortunate. I mean, to only get five hours out of this scent. And this is another one of those scenarios that, you know, if I really wanted to smell like it all day, I would carry a travel atomizer to touch up so it would last on my skin all day. But like I said, performance, not the greatest. Um, since it has those darker notes, some people would say this is more of a going out, date night type scent or, you know, not not as casual. But to me, I feel like it is light enough that you could pull this off as a work scent. Um, probably not the greatest summer scent based on because of its performance and all, but you know, personally, like I said with all my colognes, you can wear this anytime you want, you know. It's I wear colognes based on occasion, not on the weather. So another thing about this cologne, you know, it's been out since 2007. Gucci's been known to discontinue any cologne that's actually really good. Um, personally, I've had a hard time finding it in stores. Check Macy's, Nordstrom's, a lot of cologne, you know, discounters in my area of Southern California, and I haven't been able to really find it in the stores. I bought this one online. It's pretty readily available online on sites like FragranceNet, eBay, um, and if I were you and you're a fragrance collector and you don't have this one yet, 
this is definitely one you want to pick up. I mean, it's not going to be long before we're assuming at the fragrance community that this cologne is probably going to be discontinued. Like I said, it's hard, it's hard to find in stores, easy to, to find online at a reasonable price. I mean, I got this 3.4 ounce bottle, around $40 I believe. Um, so definitely pick one up before Gucci discontinues this gem. Um, it's a sexy scent, it's a clean scent, um, it's just a great scent. Um, so that was my quick review of Gucci Pour Homme 2.